what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard so this is for people that might be new to the channel but also if you just haven't seen them these are some of my favorite two ronnie's reactions that i've done i really hope you enjoy them i know i have it's my top five favorite two ronnie's Hello, hello Simon. Hello Gerald here. Yeah? Uh, hello Doris. Doris, it's me, Walter. <laughs> How are you, old man? Uh, all right, thanks. <laughs> Listen, Simon, I had to ring you up to find out how you got on with that fabulous new girl last night. Uh, not too bad. There were one or two things I couldn't quite get hold of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God, I love how... Okay, this is going to be a conversation in and of itself. Yeah, yes, I know the kind of girl, yes. Where did you take her? Somewhere exotic? Um, Sainsbury's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bianca Jagger goes there, doesn't she? I think the best thing I can do, dear, if, is to go through the list with you. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. So what was she like? I mean, what sort of girl? A French bread. Oh. <laughs> Bloomers too large. Oh, no. well, kept slipping down, you mean? <laughs> oh, well, if you will go ice skating, you will keep slipping down, won't you? Yeah. And rolls for 20p. She doesn't. <laughs> What did you say her name was? Hovis. <laughs> I think I know her. Listen, isn't, isn't she pregnant at the moment, though? No, no, no current buns, dear. <laughs> no, the... Isn't she pregnant? No, no current buns. I'll... Dude, this is the reason why they're so good with comedy. Like, they were so good. Just this, the way they set everything up, man. Just expertly done. It's so funny. No, no, they'd run out. Um, a tin of something for the cat. This all sounds very fishy to me, old sport. <laughs> very fishy indeed. Did you say her parents were in oil? Yes, the pilchards. <laughs> oh, she sounds a right little raver. I don't know how she had the energy. Uh, she said the milkman hadn't been round yet. <laughs> that would explain it, of course, yeah. What did you do? I had to get sterilized. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> to be on the safe side, I'll put them in the fridge when I get back. <laughs> well, rather you than me, old chap. <laughs> Now, uh, where was I? Um... So, she took you home and gave you a nightcap, did she? I yes, see. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. What sort? What? Yes. That sounds a bit of a puffy drink, old chap. Well, it's all she had, fairy liquid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, I see. She had the bitter lemon and you had something stronger. Yes, three tins of curry powder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just to keep you going, eh? <laughs> you lucky devil, I wish I'd been there. What sort of perfume was she wearing? Something, something really exotic. Uh, salt and vinegar <laughs> and smoky bacon. <laughs> Making a pig of herself, was she? Oh, sorry, that was a mistake, dear. She was what? Wearing a cross your heart bra? I thought it said Oxo. <laughs> oh, I see, sir. So. <laughs> so you naturally took the opportunity of having a quick. Uh... Butchers, yes, dear, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I didn't forget the steaks. You saw her do what to the bra? Fill it. <laughs> With two portions of sirloin. <laughs> yes, I did make sure they were tender, dear, yes. So I see you had her sitting there. Bro, oh my God. If you watch them and you don't like their stuff, there's something wrong with you mentally, I think. Nicely on the boil. Then what did you do? I went across the road for some apples. <laughs> That's all you need, isn't it? I mean, that is all you need. A dog leaping up into your lap. Yes, the crunchy sort. <laughs> With the yellow skin, you know. Uh, golden retriever. Golden delicious. <laughs> I bet he bites people, doesn't he? And Coxie's Pippins. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure. What a terrible thing to happen. So, so what exactly did you say? Uh, my three minutes is up. I'll have to go, dear. <laughs> That's about all you could say, I suppose. Yes, dear. Listen, you haven't told me yet, Simon, what this girl does for a living. What? She what? 
She works at Sainsbury's. I forgot your champagne water, darling. That's for us, dear, later. I say, Simon, is this girl about six foot tall, blonde, big blue eyes and other things to match? Uh, look, dear, I'm going to be late. Um, I've got a fair bit to see to. <laughs> <laughs> I should forget it all, Simon. I'm sorry, old sport, you've been short-changed. <laughs> oh, little basket. <laughs> Oh my God, dude, this was funny. I enjoyed this. It just, it, it, the play off of each other and the way the questions being asked and answered, just, and then at the end, with the, you said she's from where, Swain? Oh my goodness. I like this. I like this. They never disappoint though. None of their stuff ever disappoints. So y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace. I bought something from you last week. And I'm very disappointed. Oh, yeah? What's the problem? Yeah, well, my Blackberry is not working. <laughs> What's about it? Run out of juice? <laughs> no, no, it's completely frozen. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see that. I'll tell you what, let's try it on orange. <laughs> got a few black spots you see oh dear yeah sorry about that yeah <clears throat> <laughs> was there i knew to get my blackberry working well it could be an application issue but where do you store that blackberry well, it's on my desktop well you could try using a mouse to drag the blackberry to the trash <laughs> and after you've done that you might want to launch the blackberry from the desktop <laughs> Well, I've already tried that a few times. I mean, all it did was mess up windows. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be worth waiting a couple of weeks. They got the latest Blackberry. Fruit and computers. Like, what it, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is just, they're talking about a Blackberry, but Blackberry is a phone. They're talking about Windows dragging across a desktop and it being the applicate. <laughs> it's frozen. What the heck? He's coming in then. Well, could you give me a date? Certainly. <laughs> Let me put that date in my diary. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? Yes, yes. I've also got a problem, to be honest, with my apple. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, that is an old apple, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when did you buy that? Yeah, last week. Last week? Oh, they brought out two new apples since then. <laughs> What's the problem with it? Well, I've tried to put my dongle in it, and <laughs> it won't fit. <laughs> oh, yeah. This fruit to technology analogy, whenever you think about it, like, it's funny how everything that we use as technology based for the most part is at least when the time when this was out, like Blackberry. You name a phone Blackberry. Blackberry is a fruit. Imagine if food worked the same way. <laughs> and how big's your dongle? Well, I don't know much about these things, but my wife's seen a few dongles in her time. <laughs> and she says it's a little bit on the small side. <laughs> well, I'm afraid there's not a lot I can do about that. <laughs> Tell you what, let me try booting it. <laughs> that is crashed. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? Well, funnily enough, yes. My grandson's birthday soon, you oh, see. Yeah. Now, he's already got an apple and a blackberry. I mean, have you got anything else that you might just like? Well, we're doing a special offer on these. I mean, I can't make head or tail of them, but the kids seem to like them. Oh, yeah. Eggs box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Xbox. Xbox. Oh, my God. There we have it. Oh my God, my Blackberry isn't working. Oh my Lord, that is hilarious. That was absolutely hilarious. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Love yourselves. Please keep the recommendations coming. This, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Using fruit 
and technology and the genius, absolutely genius. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>
Uh, call me plugs. Plugs? Yeah. Pl what kind of plugs? A rubber one, bathroom. <laughs> what size? 13 amp. Thirteen amp. <laughs> electric plugs, electric bathroom plugs, you call them. The tray. Electric bathroom plug. <laughs> <laughs> bathroom plug. Uh, what size? Did he bring it out the rubber once? Saw tips. Saw tips. <laughs> what do you want, ointment or something like that? <laughs> no, saw tips, but covering the sores. Tips. Uh, oh, no, we haven't got any. Haven't got any. Oh. Covering them, but we haven't got any. Cutting the O's. O's? O's. <laughs> No O's. O's. I thought you meant O's. <laughs> O's. <laughs> oh my God! Just the. It's funny because the, the the pronunciation from one and the re reception for the other and the miscommunication that's resulting is just. Uh. Hey, O's. <laughs> No, O's. <laughs> o's? What a... Oh, you mean pantyos. Pantyos. No, no, O's. O's. O's for the gate. Mon repose. O's. <laughs> what? Let <her> o's. <laughs> My, and, and the stuff that people call stuff like this is a perfect representation of like people call stuff different things like he's wanting to think uh, for the gate but he's calling it an O so it, man's brought him two different three different things it's like he's looking at him like are you an idiot <laughs> Two. Two. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, next. Got any peas? <laughs> How many do you want? No, tins of peas. <laughs> You're 
with me or not? You for your feet, brown pump size nine. <laughs> you are at me on your own. Look on that man's face every time he brings up he didn't want like uh again. <laughs> and he even tried making sure beforehand. Oh god. Washers, what windscreen washers, car washers, dishwashers, floor washers, back <laughs> half inch washers, oh, tap washers, tap washers. Yeah. Look, I've had about enough of this. Give us that dish. <laughs> myself down here. What's this? What's that? Oh, that does it. That does have it. I've had just about enough of this. Mr. Jones, you come out and service customer, please. I've just about had enough of this. Look what he's got on there. Look what he's got on there. Right. And who would you like? One or two? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh my goodness. That is just... I love sketch comedy like that. Like, that's... Stuff like that is just absolutely hilarious. Like, it's funny because the man walks in, he's got a list, but what he calls something is completely different, number one, from what the guy's, number one, hearing, number two, what he's interpreting it as, and number three, what they each refer to something as, and the miscommunications that can happen from stuff like it could really make for some number one frustrations on people's parts, but also for for hilarity, for you know, for the purpose of like something like that, a sketch. That is just that was funny. That was funny. Thank you so much for the recommendation on this. And so to our first contender. Good evening, your name please. Uh, good evening. Your, first, your chosen subject was answering questions before they were asked. This time, you have chosen to answer the question before last each time. Is that correct? Charlie Smithers. <laughs> and your time starts now. What is paleontology? Yes, absolutely correct. <laughs> What's the name of the directory that lists members of the peerage? A study of old fossils. <laughs> Who are Len Murray and Sir Geoffrey Howe? Burks. <laughs> Correct. What is the difference between a donkey and an ass? Uh, one's a trade union leader, the other's a member of the cabinet. <laughs> Complete the quotation, to be or not to be? They're both the same. Correct. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my lord, this is just too funny. The, the way that. It... Oh my god, this is. What is Bernard Manning famous for? That is the question. <laughs> who is the present Archbishop of Canterbury? He is a fat man who tells blue jokes. <laughs> what do people kneel on in church? The Right Reverend Robert Runson. <laughs> What do tarantulas prey on? Hassocks. <laughs> what would you use a ripcord to pull open? Large flies. <laughs> what sort of a person lived in Bedlam? A parachute. <laughs> what is a jockstrap? A nutcase. <laughs> Oh, as this is going further 
the answers are even... Oh, my God. Uh, it's funny because the, the way they've set this up, the answer is taken like... Oh, my God. The way he takes and gives the answers. Like, it, it all... It, it all makes it... Again, it, the, their play on words with stuff is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> For what purpose would a decorator use methylene chlorides? Uh, a form of athletic support. <laughs> what did Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec do? Uh, paint strippers. <laughs> Who is Dean Martin? Um, he's a kind of artist. Yes, what sort of artist? Um, <laughs> pass. That's near enough. <laughs> what make of vehicle is the standard London bus? A singer. Correct. In 1892, Brandon Thomas wrote a famous long-running English farce. What was it? British Island. <laughs> Correct. Complete the following quotation. I started, so I finished. Complete the following quotation about Mrs. Thatcher. Her heart may be in the right place, but her... Charlie's aunt. Correct. <laughs> My goodness just that middle portion especially before it, it just it did it got just after uh just before the dean martin question which that was still it's funny because hearing an answer but the way everything lined up was absolutely hilarious just <laughs> what is spiders oh dear god spiders prey on and then what do uh, people, you know, the, the whole thing with the parachutes being right after that. So he answered about the spider on that large flies. Like it's what do spiders prey on? And then he took an answer to follow the, the preceding question and then answered about what you use to uh, jump out of the, uh, out of a plane and parachutes. So everything or yeah, everything lining up the way it did just absolutely hilarious like that's oh my god their play on words with stuff as well as the the just the that whole that whole sketch is funny they are comedy geniuses is not the word for these two like oh my goodness y'all be good to each other love yourselves peace <laughs>